I've wanted to get my hands on one of these ever since I saw it at CES 2024, and now that I do, I'm really excited to share with you what I found out about the Creality Falcon 2 Pro Laser 40 watt version. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, I was a little intimidated when I got the box because when I opened it up, it seemed like I was taking out part after part after part, and I ended up with all of these parts. Thankfully, looks were deceiving in this particular case. If we look at the main structure, it's already assembled. The gantry, the laser, which was a little confusing to me because I saw a box labeled laser and then I looked inside it and that was actually a 1.6 watt laser which came included with it, which I guess I could use when I don't want to use the 40 watt but at least it comes with it. Now the only really assembly that I had to do was install the drawer, which slid right in, and I had to install the top portion, which is of course the top part of the enclosure because this does have an enclosure built into it. Now that was actually easier than it sounded. Most of the pieces slid right in with a couple of screws. Now one of the things that really bothered me was all the USB ports were on the right hand side while the exhaust was on the left hand side. And that's right, I said exhaust because this does come with a 3 inch exhaust port with a fan that exhausts out of the left hand side, at least that's the way it comes. But believe it or not, these can actually be switched around so that you could do this on the right hand side, which is probably what I'll do in the future. I just didn't realize it when I assembled it. And something that I don't remember the instructions talking about, but something you can keep in mind when you build yours. Now I had received all of these parts on the side and these kind of concerned me on where they might go, but this is actually what Creality uses for their honeycomb. And the cool part about this is each one of these can come in and out if they need cleaning. Now you only receive about half as many bars as you do slots in these rails, meaning that you're going to put these every other if you want it to cover the entire cutting area or you can put these right close to each other if you only want to do a portion of the cutting area. Now, I would have really liked to have seen all of those slots filled up because I like to use a lot of the cutting area. But I guess there is an advantage to having those spaced a little bit more and that's when you're cutting through things, they will fall through into the drawer, which you can easily open up and later clean out. Now, once I had this fully assembled, I wanted to take this out into my workshop okay, my garage, and I wanted to test to see if I had hooked it up properly. All right, time to turn it on for the first time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, once you turn this on for the next 15 to 30 seconds, it's gonna run your fan, your light, and your air assist to make sure that they're all running. Now, after that, it will shut off. Now, I did mention air assist because this does have built-in air assist, and it has this nice little potentiometer on the side where you can select exactly how much air assist that you want while you're cutting and or engraving. This also came with two USB cords. You might be thinking, why do you need two? Well, one is of course to hook up the laser, which you can hook up to your computer. But the second one is designed to hook up the camera. And this does have a camera built in right over the top and it sits right in the middle. Now that's a stationary camera that looks at the entire working area. Now, in order to utilize this camera, it's going to be recognized by the software right away, but you are going to want to calibrate that camera. Thankfully, Creality gave you this nice little card that allows you to calibrate the camera, and you're gonna move this card around, and honestly, Lightburn walks you all the way through it, although there are some instructions on the included SD card if you want to read those as well. This is where I found out that the LED light, which is right on the very front, was actually a problem in some instances. As I was doing the calibration, when I was putting that card in the front corners, it was actually washing out the image so that the camera couldn't focus on it and it wouldn't get a correct reading. So for that, I had to actually shut off the LED light, which you can do on the right hand side by turning this either on auto or on. Turn that back to auto and it will shut off. And then I just used a light overhead to shine on it so that the camera could focus on that and get the calibration. Now, once that camera is connected, you can view your workpiece at any time within Lightburn, and you can also use it to line up your pieces before you cut them. It's really, really neat. Speaking of cutting, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how it does while cutting. Now, first thing I cut is I use some of the included material 
and used one of the files that was on the SD card originally. Now it had this both for a 22 watt and 40 watt, had all the feeds and speeds in there. So honestly, I don't know what it was cutting at, but it cut this really cool guy out and it did it perfectly. Oh yeah, Creality All-Star. Let's see, oh that, that worked beautifully. Uh, that worked really nice. Now the thing that I loved about this most is that this isn't just an enclosure, this is actually a piece of safety equipment. All right, now it's cutting, but one of the things I absolutely love about this is the safety features. I have two kids, now watch this. As soon as I open that up, now you can see the engraving, but it's flashing a warning, and of course it stops. Now, that is pretty cool. And of course we wanna resume that so I'm gonna just hit this, and there it's gonna go ahead and resume. And the same thing happens if I open up this drawer right here. It's gonna go ahead and stop that. The safety features are so awesome, especially when you have a kid. Now, not only was that really cool, this does come with the same thing that the Crowley Falcon 2 came with, which are the three lights on the laser itself, which tells you whether the air is going, it tells you whether there is a fire and it will stop the machine if a fire is detected, and of course, it will tell you if you need to clean your lens. All things that are really important to make sure that a laser is functioning properly and is safe. And one of the things that I was also happy about is that when I came back to the cutting, I didn't smell anything. Now this once again, there is a switch on the left hand side where you can leave this on auto or on for the fan. Now, if you leave it on auto after a little bit of time, after the cut is done, it will shut off the fan. I don't like that. I would rather the fan just keep running to really get rid of those exhaust fumes. And so I left mine to on when I was cutting through and engraving. And for me, that worked out a little bit better. Now it was time to cut some of my materials that I cut most often to see exactly how much better the 40 watt version is compared to my 22 watt of the exact same laser. I wasn't expecting much. So the first thing I did is I hooked up some acrylic. Now Creality gives you this nice little chart that tells you about what feed and speed that you should run it at. And so I ran it at their setting and honestly it was too slow. And although it did cut it, it did kind of burn the acrylic a little. It just didn't really come out the way that I wanted to. I just wasn't happy with it. Also, when I opened up the drawer later, I noticed that it started to cut through the bottom drawer. And that's when I decided to go ahead and throw one of my pieces of scrap metal down. It actually came with an old honeycomb and I put that inside the drawer, close it so if it does cut through, it won't actually damage the drawer. So I went ahead and sped that up. And once I did, it cut the acrylic perfectly. Now the other thing that I do a lot of is cedar. Now I do half inch thick cedar. And one of the things that concerned me is when I was looking over these tables, it looked like basically what they were saying is do the same speed, but less power. And that doesn't really help me. So I wanted to see what it would do at 300 millimeters a minute, which is what I typically do anyway with my cedar. But I usually do two passes. But with this, I did the exact same speed that I normally do, but it only required one pass to cut through the entire cedar. That means that if I'm working on a project, this is going to cut my production time in half. And that is where I got very excited about this. Once again, when I was cutting the cedar, didn't smell anything. Now, what I forgot to tell you was when I cut the acrylic, I came back and it smelled really bad. Definitely smelled like acrylic all throughout the workshop. Now, this could be attributed to a couple different things. One, the fan might not be strong enough to be getting all of those fumes out. Two, I did mention that you can switch these plates around. And because of that, it has a cutout for the USB on both sides. Unfortunately, that does have an area where air can escape, so probably needs to be covered up. Now, the other reason is when I did connect this out to the outside to exhaust out, it really hasn't been sealed yet. This was more of a temporary test. So it, the air could have been leaking back in through some places where I didn't seal. So there needs to be some more testing done, whether this was an issue with it not exhausting enough fumes out or whether it was really an issue on my end, not sealing it up properly. But as I continue to use this, I'll make sure to update you guys. So that reminds me, if you haven't already, make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now I am gonna be doing some projects on the channel with this laser. So if you wanna see that, 
trust me, you don't want to miss it because they're going to be pretty cool. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, this is Toyd CIO Audio, and I'm out. <laughs>